Hey guys, so today I would just like to do a quick video to answer a question I get asked very commonly on this channel. Today it gets asked by Rob Smart. How do you rate Ubuntu Mate 17.10 against Linux Mint 18.3? Which do you prefer? Now this question uh, has been asked numerous times in numerous sort of uh, ways, for example, what would I recommend to newcomers to Linux? What do I tend to use? All that kind of stuff. So there isn't really necessarily an easy answer to this question because both distributions are really, really good. Now, if I was to compare Ubuntu Mate 17.10, which is the latest version, against the latest version of Linux Mint 18.3, they are very, very, very similar in terms of their merits. Both of them are very, very user-friendly. Both of them have really great communities that... Um, have a lot of great documentation, a lot of great people working behind them, supporting the distribution as well. Um, and these are things that, are, you know, I, I tend to look at when I tend to choose a distribution as well. Like it's not just the software in and of itself, but the community around it. If you're going to have trouble finding help in the event of, of you getting stuck on something or, um, you know, it, how like friendly is the community? How uh, is the community going to expect you to have a certain level of knowledge and so forth? But when it comes to Ubuntu Mate and when it comes to uh, Linux Mint, both of those communities are very, very active and, and very, very helpful and, and full of great and wonderful people. So it's, it's, it's a very difficult call to make. Now, if I were to make the direct comparison between Linux Mint 18.3 and Ubuntu Mate 17.10, I would need to ask if what you really wanted out of that system and what kind of applications you, you would need. Now, Ubuntu uh, Mate 17.10 have a newer uh, you know, software base overall. So if you used a lot of software from the repositories and you wanted the, the most up-to-date version, then Ubuntu Mate would probably be your better option um, because of that newer software base from Ubuntu. Now, that being said, Linux Mint also do upgrade a lot of their software, and they also have uh, recently adopted flat packs as well. So the even the gap is closing in, in that regard. But as it stood, uh, or as it stands now, the, you know, the support for native applications on Ubuntu Mate 17.10 is newer and more up-to-date than it is on, on Linux Mint. And the reason for that is that Linux Mint tend to prefer stability over newer packages and and you know, sort of shinier things. So, so Linux Mint is a little bit more reserved, conservative in its UI choices, in its software choices. So, uh, a lot of the case, you know, the case in, in, would also be like if you were to install this distribution, how long would you want it on your machine? Do you not really want to change your distrib your distribution uh, for for a couple of years, or are you going to be updating every six months? If you're updating every six months, then Ubuntu Mate might be more up your street. Whereas um, if you just wanted to install a distribution and just leave it on there for a, for a pretty lengthy amount of time, then of course Linux Mint might be uh, a little bit more suitable for you because Linux Mint is based on the latest long-term support release of Ubuntu. Now, a lot of people often ask, how do I compare Ubuntu Mate, the latest long-term support release, which as of this video is 16.04, against Linux Mint? Um, I would have to say that it's, it really is about as close to a draw as you can get. Their, their fundamental underlying software is, you know, it's largely the same. And if you were to install, for example, uh, eight, uh, Linux Mint 18.2 or Linux Mint 18.1, I wouldn't even necessarily um, expect you to even update that until another major version of Linux Mint comes along. If you just want a base operating system that just, you know, has your browser, your utilities, um, your, your sort of a generic set of software, 
and you just you just you know you're happy with that and you just want that as is until you know for for, for a good number of years uh linux mint does tend to favor that kind of attitude but then again with ubuntu mate if you take the long term support version you're effectively in the same boat i mean the software center between you know the software center of linux mint and the software boutique of ubuntu mate both of those are really 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 good software installation programs and with the software boutique in ubuntu mate it pulls down the uh, repositories, the third-party repositories of a lot of the software. So, if, for example, if you were installing Skype on Ubuntu Mate, it would get the um, PPA from Microsoft from the Skype website and then install it for you based on that. So your version of Skype would be uh, kept up to date, uh, providing, of course, you updated the machine. So in in they are so similar in terms of what you actually get at the end of the day once it's set up that it really 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 is too close to call and all i can i, I can say is um poke around the websites ask around the community um but you know linux mint have made some adjustments ubuntu mate have made some adjust adjustments to to the ubuntu code base that that's based off of and um you know with with the introduction of flat packs in 18.3 You've you've even got that option of newer software from from another source, but then with the um, software boutique in in Ubuntu Mate, you've got um, uh, you've got you've got extra software from other sources as well. So, in fact, to be honest, I actually sometimes, as a you know, as a slip of the tongue, a accidentally refer to Ubuntu Mate when I'm talking about Linux Mint and Linux Mint when I'm talking about Ubuntu Mate sometimes, um, because it's um, it's not necessarily that they're similar per se but but once you've got the final product they do the same job and they do the same job so well um and i couldn't put one distribution above another truth be told they're slightly different in terms of what they're geared towards maybe the type of user that they're geared towards but 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 really they're they're designed for ease of use and it's not necessarily a case of even being newbie friendly. A lot of you guys have actually called me out on referring to distributions as newbie friendly, but um, but at the same time, like power users also appreciate them as well. People who've been using Linux, you know, who are, who are industry specialists appreciate using Ubuntu Mate or Linux Mint as well. So it's not necessarily a case that these distributions are even newbie friendly. It's just that they're easy to use and it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have on, on Linux or distributions. I think a lot of people just appreciate an easy to use experience and you get that on Linux Mint and you get that on Ubuntu Mate. Uh, which one is better? Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's a reason I haven't made a video about this topic before, but I've just been asked so many times that I feel that you guys at least deserve an attempt at an answer. But really, Mate is a pretty good desktop, and it's being maintained really quite well, and I have very few, if any, problems with it. Uh, I like the fact that it's a little bit more traditional. I like the fact that it's been around a while, um, and, and I like the fact that it's customizable without actually having uh, too many options or being too breakable as well. It's not it's not fragile at all. Uh, I like the fact that you can set it up so that you've got the uh, the two bars, one at the top, one at the bottom, like the Ubuntu Mate default. I like the fact that you've got like the Redmond layout that comes with Linux Mint. And I know people who have come across to Linux Mint from uh, from other operating systems and they have appreciated the more reserved and conservative UI approach of Linux Mint. But truth be told, I don't. But when I my first Linux distribu uh, distribution was, uh, I think it was like Fedora Core six or seven or something like that, and they had um, GNOME two, which was you know what went in to become Mate, and that had the two bars, one at the top, one at the bottom. It was a rather different UI experience to what I was used to on Windows, but it was intuitive. And that's the important thing. Things don't necessarily have to mimic Windows for it to be considered intuitive. It just has to, um, it just has to be, I don't know, like, you know, intuitive. It just has to be like, if you expect to find something in, in, in a place and you go to look for it there, that it's it's there and it's easy and that the descriptors make sense and that the, you know, the icons make sense and, and that things are in logical places and things work in a logical progression. And you know, both distributions do try and accomplish that, and they do sometimes go about it in slightly different ways, but at the end of the day, a couple of months down the line, once you've settled into it and you've made the appropriate customizations and adjustments, 
you, you, you know, you, you're in very similar places, truth be told, I think. But but I, I have a great deal of respect for both communities, both distributions, and I can't speak either of, you know, of either of them highly enough. They both contribute a great deal amount to the Linux community. I think they're easy to use, and I think that they're absolutely wonderful. Um, and that's all, I've, that's all I've really got to say about it. But I, I did want to make a video talking about some of the distinctions because I know that there are a number of people that prefer uh, one strongly over the other. Uh, when I do make videos about each of these distributions, Ubuntu Mate seems to get a lot more universal praise than Linux Mint, but but really not not too much, really. Like, it does seem very, very similar. Um, if I was to put... A, um, if, if I was to... to, to make like if I was to, to argue one difference between the two it just would be that the the attitude that Linux Mint has tends to be more of the they you know prefer stability they tend to focus on stability they tend to focus on um, uh, continuity and that you know you're not going to see any drastic UI changes come out of um, out of Linux Mint one would hope and one would expect but that being said Ubuntu Mate uh, in terms of the the GNOME two star desktop, it it looks the same as that did ten years ago. So, you know, and in fact, one of the reasons that people choose Ubuntu Mate over Ubuntu Vanilla is because Ubuntu Mate has this feeling of continuity, whereas Ubuntu tends to make drastic UI decisions. Um, when it comes to like distributions that uh, you would recommend to newcomers, I would recommend either Linux Mint or Ubuntu Mate. And the truth be told, if if you're a person who is helping someone move across maybe recommend the distribution that you're most comfortable helping them with. Um, some people do sometimes recommend like uh, distributions like Manjaro, for example, which are distributions that people who are more used to Linux might find quite intuitive, and Manjaro is a very intuitive distribution. But uh, it also does on occasion... Um, I'm not going to necessarily break, but it does require reconfiguring certain elements uh, over upgrade processes, and um, it it, it often sort of focuses on the latest and greatest versions of software that a lot of people just, they can wait for that kind of stuff. And I, I don't necessarily recommend Manjaro uh, or Arch-based distributions to newcomers because they tend to be uh, geared towards people that have a more specific idea of what they want and are willing to maybe go a few extra lengths to to customize or get, you know, to, to acquire that. Um and even distributions like Manjaro have made that a great deal more e easier and quicker than using, say, Vanilla Arch, where you might be more inclined to dip into the command line or um, uh, sort of look up some documentation. Uh, whereas Manjaro is, again, it's intuitive enough that you can you can just jump in and, and, and do what you want. I would say that Manjaro in particular is definitely geared towards people who who are, have been in the Linux space and been using Linux distributions for quite some time. Uh, and that is a big step away, for, uh, it's a sizable step away from what Linux Mint and Ubuntu Mate are trying to do. Um, particularly with Linux Mint, there does seem to be a, a, like a, a stronger focus on the idea of, of, of stability. And they, they have uh, at times been, been criticized for, for, um, make it, for, for, for example, not updating the kernel uh, as readily as other distributions for fear of, of, of it causing a breakage. But a lot of people I know would be willing to, to take that option of stability over um, upgrading the kernel at the risk of breaking that. So that's just a few thoughts um, that, I, that I thought I might share with you in regards to Linux Mint versus Ubuntu Mate. Truth be told, though, both great distributions, and I, I, you know, can't say a word against them. Great, you know, great distributions, great community around them. Um, I was looking at the Ubuntu. Uh, I was looking at the Linux Mint uh, getting started documentation earlier today, and that's pretty good actually. One of the things I like about the Linux Mint getting started documentation is it explains the languages. It explains the nomenclature that is used in uh, Linux distributions and uh, explains not just what you need to do to get set up, but why you need to do it. So, um, and again, like the, the, the documentation around and uh, Ubuntu Mate is great as well. Um, but like I say, you know, it's, it's, um, both of them are great and, um, and I couldn't choose between them. Um, and it's nice to have that, that kind of choice, you know? So, uh, it, it, it to be honest, it, it doesn't feel great when you, you feel like you've only got one distribution that fits you, does it? It doesn't feel like you've got choice. Like Linux is, is all about choice. And whereas 
you know, you might look over at another distribution and, and think that that's great. And, and, you know, you might pine for another distribution from time to time. It's nice that you're in that position rather than just feel like you're only using a distribution because it's the only one that works or it's the only one that you know how to use or it's the only one you feel comfortable with. It's just nice to have that choice, even if, um, even if you can only use one uh, distribution at a time. So anyway, that's just a few thoughts of mine on the topic. Thank you very much for watching. And please, of course, share your thoughts on this down in the comments section below, because I know this is a very subjective area of discussion and uh, I would like to hear what you guys have to say about it. Um, uh, but that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.